I'm going to show you how to size and fit an eyepiece reticule. A reticule equips the microscope with a measurement pattern which can be used for a range of purposes. There are many microscope brands, most of which can be fitted with an eyepiece reticule. And there are also many different types of eyepiece which can fit into the tube. Generally, there are two sizes of eyepiece, the larger 30mm, such as on this microscope, or the smaller 23mm found on many other compound microscopes. It's important to make sure you select the right size reticule for your eyepiece. We've compiled a list of over 160 eyepieces from all the major manufacturers on our website. Some modern eyepieces can be very complex, containing five or more separate lenses. We're going to look at the corrected simple eyepieces of Kellner design. There are two common variations of this design, many of which can be fitted with an eyepiece reticule. The Ramsden or Kellner type has lenses above the reticle mounting position, which means we have an open tube from the bottom. Now, there may be some disassembly required, but generally it's far simpler to fit a reticle to this type of eyepiece. The second design is called the Hygienian type. It contains a lens element on the top and on the bottom, which means we need to open the eyepiece to mount the reticule inside the tube. There are a few basic things we need to do before we start the process. It's really important to keep our work surfaces clean and make sure we keep the new reticule and eyepiece assembly free from dust and fingerprints. Make sure you have the right equipment to hand. Optical cleaning fluid, lint-free tissues, a pair of rubber gloves are essential. These lab gloves will prevent getting finger marks on the assembly. You can get optical cleaning kits which may also come with additional items such as brushes, anti-static cloths or speck grabbers to remove individual pieces of dirt. One of the most common causes of contamination when disassembling an eyepiece can actually come from the eyepiece itself. When you unscrew the assembly, small pieces of the black anodized coating can come free and fall inside the eyepiece. To avoid trapping loose debris inside the chamber, make sure you clean all the eyepiece components once disassembled. This is our Hygienian eyepiece, which is the more complicated of the two, if you remember. It has a lens at the top and at the bottom. This is the field lens, which I can remove. We need to measure the mount, and we're going to do that using our micrometer. Just into the mount. Now, this one measures 19 millimetres, so that we know this 19 millimetre reticle will fit. But first of all, I'm going to clean the reticule using a piece of lint-free tissue. Now, we fold the tissue into quarters or eighths so we get a nice corner. That will be our cleaning surface. Apply a little cleaning fluid. And then, working on the reticule from the centre in a rotational manner, centre to the outside, remove all of the dirt and debris. And then, if we reverse and do this on the other side as well, rotational, from centre to the outside. And then finally, we just clean and dry to make sure we remove all the moisture. If the fluid evaporates on the glass, we'll be left with a watermark, so it's important we dry it properly. When fitting the reticule inside the mount, we need to make sure it's the right way round, else the numbers or text will appear back to front. The reticle pattern is intended to be viewed through the eyepiece to the side which has the chrome image on. So we need to mount the reticule in the eyepiece with the chrome image away from the side of your eye. Once in place, I've got a circlip to hold it in place. Some eyepieces uh, have screwing holding rings or collars, but in, in, in this case, a circlip gives us a nice firm fitting. And then we replace the field lens after giving it a quick clean. And there we are, it's all done. Hygiene and eyepiece with reticule.
This is our second eyepiece, the Ransom type. It's a little simpler as we have an open tube below the lens and a shelf where to mount the reticule. It's accessed here. And what we need to do is measure the inner tube first. Zero in our micrometer. Measure to the shelf. And this one reads about 20, 20 and a half. So this 20 millimeter reticule it will go into the shelf quite nicely. Now, before we fit the reticule into the tube, as before, we clean using a piece of lint-free tissue. Again, working from the middle to the outside in a circular motion on one side, and then on the opposite side, and not forgetting to polish and dry with a fresh piece of tissue. We're ready to mount our reticule. Making sure we got the reticle round the right way again, with the chrome image facing down so the numbers and the text look the right way round through the eyepiece. And then finally, we drop this into the shelf and use a circlip to fix in place. Some, as I said before, eyepieces do have screwing clamps. And then reassemble. And then we're ready to go and put the eyepiece back onto the microscope tube.